and good morning getting dressed for well another day and today happens to be valentine's day so we got some errands to run but one of the things we're going to do today too is test out a new product normally i was going to do an unboxing for it but i thought just trying it out using the field might be more fun here we go what every good vlogger needs in their backpack camera some extra batteries microphone equipment foreshadowing of the next video and diapers yes still in diapers potty training is not going fantastic it's too boring, I'm told, on a regular basis. <sighs> and what's funny is his brother potty trained pretty much with no problem. We thought we were having an issue with him. Now that his little brother's potty training, found out Henry was a breeze to potty train. Good morning. Well, like any good husband in their late 30s, haven't got anything for Valentine's Day yet. So me and Charlie, Charlie, say hi. Hi. Have you heard him? He said hi. We're going to go find a Valentine's Day present for my wife, Dana, and maybe something for Charlie and Henry. We'll see. But a little bit of a fun day. Like I said, we're going to try out the DJI uh, OM, <laughs> OM4, right? <laughs> I'm totally keeping... Yeah, right. Yeah. I keep messing up the name, which is funny. I actually had to record a whole unboxing video for it, and I realized when I was done, I kept saying D DGI, not DJI. So we're going to do this. I thought it'd be more fun to use it out in the field than just do a traditional unboxing. So we're going to have some fun today. We're going to go shopping for a Valentine's Day present. Don't know how much we're going to record that, but I think we have a little surprise for Charlie in store. Daddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he said, Charlie. Police car. You saw a police car? Yeah, two of them. Wow, two police cars. Kid loves his construction vehicles and police cars, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, and tractors. I forgot about tractors. Traffic is terrible on the freeway right now. And so terrible, in fact. That windshield we just got repaired just got a crack in it again from a rock being thrown up on the freeway. I mean, it stinks that we already got a crack in the windshield. It's really small. It's going to be easily treated. But it's we just got it repaired after having a huge crack in it. Eh, that's life. And that's life in Tucson. That's the only downside about owning a nicer car or any car in Tucson. Our roads are absolutely terrible, mostly due to the heat and just, well, maintenance. Um, so you see cracked windshields a lot. And unfortunately, you see cars just bouncing up and down on all the roads with all the potholes and whatnot. But I digress. Valentine's Day present. Let's roll. Okay, cheers. Cake pop cheers. Hey, it's a Charlie Daddy day today while we get everything ready for Valentine's Day. But like I said, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the DJI OM4SE. I decided to pick it up because we do a lot of filming on the go. And the reality is, I keep saying reality is, um, it's easier to record with my phone in most cases, which kind of stinks. I just invest in these nice microphones that I can use with the phone while it's recording on the DJI, but not very easily. Charlie, what do you think of this? Ready? Let's show them. This is what the contents look like. It comes with, oh, you got a water there? What about your milk? Okay. Uh, it comes with the handheld uh, gimbal, which is nice. I haven't really played with it yet. Um, I've been doing my research. So I want to actually look like I know what I'm doing when I use it. And it comes with a little magnetic clip that attaches to it and a little stand. It also comes with like a little disc where you can mount it or like a little uh, buffer if you have like an iPad or something but we don't have an iPad to, well, to use in this case. But let's take it out of the box and see what it's like, Charlie. All right, so here it is. Does that look cool? What it is, you lift it up and that unlocks it. So as to show, you can lock it again by placing it down. Oh, make sure this is facing the right way. And they got little stoppers in here, which is nice. So you can only close it the correct way for the most part. And there, now it's closed. Now it's not bouncing around. So boom, boom, unlocked, okay? And the next step is you take this little magnetic clip I showed you guys. See, you see the magnetic clip, Charlie? Make sure it's centered. That's one thing I've read on all the reviews. If it's slightly off centered, it'll yell at you and say, hey, that's not centered. But if it's centered, even with the case on there, in my case, I have an iPhone that I'm putting on there, the 13 Pro. And then Charlie, see this button here? We're gonna hold that down. That little beat means it's on. <gasps> and let's do a double tap. And that's going to turn it landscape mode. Whoa. So now we open it up and see what it kind of looks like. Let's head to the zoo in a little bit, buddy. And we'll try it out there, okay? High five.
Yeah, it's my partner in crime. Mm -hmm. Are you done? You ate a lot. That was quick. Ooh, sugar. Ooh. Well, that'll be us. All right, we're on the gimbal now. Now it's time to release the Kraken. Are you ready to get out, Charlie? I'm going to try to do a Kraken. Did you just threaten me? Yeah. All right, let's see how the gimbal works here at the zoo in action. I'm a little nervous because I've never really used it before and I did that on purpose. So you be in the same experience that we do. Charlie, you ready? Yeah. Zoo time. Hey, you forgot your hat. What? Oh no, that's okay. So I'm doing my first little experiment. It's kind of cool. I have a tracking Charlie as he's running around. I'm just walking straight and it is keeping up with him. I'm really excited too because they have the big bugs exhibit. Do you like big bugs? No. No? Well, come on, let's walk around and see what we find, okay? Yeah. Let's roll. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just did a picture with the gimbal. And it was pretty easy as well. I got to learn how to scroll through the yeah, settings, yeah, though. That's something I'm still learning. Bye. But it's zoo time. Bye. Bye. Nice and smooth. Well, the only part of this so far that might be an issue is apparently Charlie is not a fan of big bugs, and that's the whole point of this exhibit. Let's see how this works out. Charlie, oh that's a big bug. That's a praying mantis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's moving, huh? Yeah, what's it moving? Like down here. What are those? Ducks. What are they? Oh, it's ducks. a duck. You're right. I'm over here. Where are we going? I have to say, so far, I'm impressed with the smoothness of it. Um, you probably haven't seen, but we've recorded quite a bit and the battery life seems to be pretty stable as well. And I like that it's tracking, so I'm just kind of moving it without moving myself, and it's just following along with me. I never keep up with him, I'm too slow. He tells me a lot. So I like to enjoy the things I'm looking at. Charlie likes to run, point, and say, ooh, and then run on to the next thing. <laughs> One of the things I'm really looking forward to using this game, oh, ooh, yeah, look at the big fish. What are those, Charlie? Echo! You love fish? Yeah. They love you too. Let's say go. One of the things I'm really looking forward to using this gimbal on my phone more often is we're actually gonna do a lot more dark ride stuff. Like when I use my Canon G7X Mark II, it does have low light options, but it never really gives me the shot that I want in the dark. And I've noticed with my phone, I've gotten great videos in the dark. So we're probably gonna lean on this a lot when it comes to some dark ride stuff and even when we are in nighttime situations. So yay, bonus. And the smoothness. I can't get over how smooth it is. That's really, really cool. No more shaky hands from yours truly. Really professional style video. What you reading, Chuck? Oh wow. Yeah. What are those? Tigers. Tigers? Yeah. Look, not everybody's gonna be a valedictorian. Hi Chuck. It's only been about 15 minutes we started using it, but so far I'm really impressed. In fact, my only complaint thus far is the handle's starting to warm up a little bit from the battery, but since it's so cold, I'll take that as a win right now. If you do find yourself in the Tucson area, make sure you stop at Reed Park Zoo. We've been annual pass holders for a long time, and it's worth every dollar. I absolutely love coming to the zoo, especially the kids. When they see the animals all the time, they couldn't be happier. And all the stuff they do as you know, conservationists, I can't say, I'm not sure if that word's right, but well, they do amazing things to help not only educate about the animals that they have here, but to also help their quality of life and just, well, make sure that they're preserved. So one thing that keeps happening with the gimbal, that I don't know if I'm not a fan of, when I put on the tracking mode so it stays fixed on me whether I move the gimbal or not, it keeps randomly like just tilting back. I don't know if that's a software thing or if I'm doing something wrong, I'll have to look into that more. But the tilt thing has been kind of weird so far. Like right now it's being nice and smooth and following me. But before I was like, uh, 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 trying to keep up with it. So we'll see, that's when I actually just had the face tracking on. Where does it lead, Charlie? Where does it lead? Mostly because I'm curious. I wanna like power it off as we're walking, put it in sleep mode and see if it still records. Hold on, fun experiment. Oh, nope, that's portrait. Nope, when you have the app open, app open it automatically shuts it off when you put it in sleep mode. I was just curious. I've never been a big fan of this saying, but yeah, it's kind of my spirit animal. Hi there. Hey, Charlie, can I ask you a very serious question? Yeah. 
Do you like the zoo? Yeah. What's your favorite part? There? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go over there. Look, truth be told, I know they're not hyenas, but whenever I see these dogs running around, all I can think of is uh, the Lion King and them singing, let's, you know, be prepared. What can I say? We're Disney through and through. Wherever we go, it's something how Disney, well, there you go. Hey, Mr. Gator. Want to give him a pet? Yeah. Hey, Charlie, what are those? Okay, I'm gonna have to plead a little bit of ignorance here. When I heard it was a big bug exhibit, I didn't really look into it. I thought we were actually gonna go see real live insects. It's very similar to the dinosaur experience that we went to before, where it is large scale bugs for the kids to see and experience without you know having to deal with little creepy crawlies because Charlie was not excited about creepy crawlies. No, I I'm crushing your head. I tried the tracking right now with the giraffe, but unfortunately it got too dark in the shadows. I spoke too soon. It found him and it started tracking again by itself. Well, this is our friend Timon. Say hi, Timon. Hi, Timon. Another big bug. It's a grasshopper. You don't see, he doesn't see a big bug. Say hi, grasshopper. Hi, grasshopper. Bye, grasshopper. I have a new goal in life. I want to ride a giant grasshopper. You don't see the rhino? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right over here. Yeah, there you go, big guy. What is it? Right there. What is it? Another what? Right there. Another what? Right there. I know, but what is it? It's a bug. A big bug? Yeah, right there. Oh, that's a big bug. Yep. That's a cockroach. Yeah. You want one of those as a pet? No. Yeah, me neither. One of my always favorite parts of the zoo is the elephants because we actually have one of the cooler like elephant uh, conservation like centers in the world. If I remember correctly, I think we have four elephants here in Tucson and they're all part of the same family. In fact, we just had one born recently and they lovingly call this Expedition Tanzania. Charlie, I gotta be honest with you. That's daddy's worst fear come to life. Daddy does not like spiders. I like spiders. Then you are not my child. He kind of took that one to heart when I said that. Ugh. I was just kidding. I love my kid. Charlie, the best advice I can ever give you yeah. is always be yourself. <laughs> okay, I completely understand if y'all shut off the video at this point. You know, I'm just gonna record it because it just decided to start tracking stuff I'm not telling it to, even though I told it to focus on something way further to the right. Here are awesome elephants I was talking about, but I'm also gonna take a moment to complain about the uh, gimbal so far. So whenever it makes up its own mind that's gonna focus on something I didn't tell it to, I have to power it all the way off and wait a second for it to basically replace, or to reset. Uh, they're supposed to be able to reset it by hitting a combination of the trigger button, which I did, and it just did not want to listen. This is what pouting looks like when you get told you're not listening. Look, fun fact, uh, termites are horrible in Arizona, and that's the biggest okay, one I've ever Daddy. seen. So I'm trying not to complain about the gimbal because so far like the smoothness and everything else is really cool. Maybe I just have to get the like button combinations down for everything. But it keeps making its own mind that it wants to track at things I don't tell it to track. Uh, and I am using the DJI, DJI app for it as well. So I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing for all intents and purposes. But like right now, it's supposed to be tracking my face and it's turning. <laughs> so like it's supposed to follow me, which it is there, but sorry about the sun. When I turn this way, it's kind of leaning off to the side. It doesn't actually center like it was before I actually moved. So only downside so far is doing some uninitiated things I don't intend it to. Like right now, I just centered by itself randomly. So I don't know if it's just not focusing on me directly or what, but hey, this is why we get these devices and try them out so I can share what I learned with you. But more importantly, I can figure it out as we go and you can learn from my mistakes, which I'm sure there's plenty of. Daddy, Charlie just pointed this out to me and I find them amusing. We have giant bugs and a baby elephant. Oh, you want me to play with you? Yeah. All right, what are we gonna play?
love that they have these great little play areas for the kids because you have to be able to mix education with fun. If you don't, you're going to lose a whole generation of people that are actually going to help with these animals and their conservation. Mr. Charlie, be their otters afoot. All right, Charlie, are you ready to have a great rest of our day? I saw something. You found something? It's a snake. Charlie, what does a snake sound like? All right, buddy, let's go have a great rest of our day. We got to find a present for Mama still, huh? So I had to turn the gimbal off for a while for a couple reasons. One, it was doing all those uninitiated things I didn't want it to do. Like right now, it's panning, and I don't know why. Like I'm just standing here. The other one is my battery life on my phone is almost dead. I've been recording for like an hour off and on, but my phone's been unlocked this whole time. And one thing I love about my phone is I have great battery life. With the gimbal going, doing all the recording, make sure you're bringing a battery with you if you plan on using this to record your vlogs or anything else. Um, I'm gonna give my final review now of the gimbal. So again, it's the DJI OM4SE. I'm gonna give it a solid seven out of 10 because I love the smoothness. I love the fact I can switch back and forth with just a couple switches on the button and on the, the hilt, whatever you want to call it, the handle. But like, again, it's panning. I'm just walking straight forward. I haven't turned my wrist at all, but it wants to record over there. I don't know, like I'm gonna turn, see if it follows me. So I like it. I plan on getting some really good use out of this. And I got it for a really good price as well. I normally run about, I believe, was it 129? Um, full disclosure, I did get a discount on it because I used a department store card that provided a discount. Um, would I buy it again? I don't know. Now that I have it, cool. It's part of my, my repertoire. It's part of my arsenal. But I don't know if it's something I would go out and pursue again. But like I said, I could be possibly doing just everything wrong because I'm just learning it on the fly as I go. I want to see how intuitive it was, which I'll say, I don't think it's very intuitive. Definitely watch some videos from other creators. Maybe I'll do a video like as I learn stuff of what to do and common mistakes. And we'll go from there. But right now, I get to go be a daddy. It's Charlie, Tom, Charlie almost said my real name. My, my name, not daddy. It's Charlie Daddy Day. So I got to go play now because Charlie won't stop saying my name. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel Tech Edition. I hope this review helped you out a little bit. If you decide to get one, go pick one up. But if not, just remember one very important thing. You are awesome. Bye-bye, everybody.